Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 6. Um, the last episode was an important episode, or not, not the episode, sorry, but the um, the announcement video to do with the server, so please do watch that if you play on the server, or are planning to play on the server within now to the next month, because um, there's going to be a server wipe, but it's not completely, so go watch that, all the information's there and uh, and what you got to do. Um, I started recording before I really had a plan, because um, heads keep appearing in my inventory. In particular, in this spot right there. I don't know why. I don't know how. I'm, I'm trying to catch it in the act. Okay. Maybe that was the last of it. Anyway, anyway. Um, there are a few things I wanted to do this episode. So, um, one thing that I was going to do was I wanted to try and go find some dragons. Because I've been gifted a nice dragon. As well as, um, you know, this dragon forge stuff. Um, I might, I might end up taking it. You guys in the comments let me know. Um, but I also kind of want to see if I can do it myself, sort of thing. See if I can at least go and get a dragon or two myself. See if I can kill them. See exactly how tricky it's going to be. Um, so I wanted to make a new sword, and I was experimenting, and I went ahead and crafted this guy. Um, he's an unobtainium sword using silent gear. Um, silent gear is what I use to make my current vibranium sword. Um, this guy appears to do twice the damage. Um, which seems pretty cool. Obviously, I don't have any of the perks on him, any of the enchantments. Um, I'm not sure exactly how difficult it would be to just transfer the stuff across. Um, I could see if pedestals do it. I don't necessarily think that they do, but I could... Does that do it? <laughs> I don't think it does. Um, it was worth a try, though, wasn't it? Um, so, yeah. I, I don't really know... Oh, how do I... Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was scared that it... Oh, can I have my... Give me the sword. Okay. Um... I'm not sure what what exactly I want to do. I could also try to make a, a Tinker's sword, but I feel like I did that, didn't I? At Tinker's. We tried making some stuff. Um, what do we have here? We have Unobtainium Cleavis. You know what, actually? Look, look at how much damage this does. Yeah, maybe... Maybe I should just use a Cleaver. That is ridiculous. I completely forgot about that. Okay. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, why, why, why not, right? Why shouldn't I? Um, what I will say, though, is I can't have enchantments on it, um, as far as I know. So, I, like, what, what can I do? I can make it indestructible. Um, I can put modifiers on it. There's actually, ooh, there's actually been quite a few update, updates. I kind of like what I'm looking at. Okay. I, I might have to look through these. Ooh. What is severing? What? What is this? Is it just that it drops uh, heads? Because it has the severing um, perk on it? I think that's what that means. I think it's... What? You can get TNT from a creeper. You can get a dragon head from an ender dragon. These are pretty cool. Husk head, carved pumpkin. Uh, pump pumpkin. Uh, red mushroom. What's this? A player head. Okay, yeah. Oh. This is... Uh, you know what? We might be having a Tinkers episode. Because I, <laughs> look at this stuff. Okay, so these are all the modifiers. There's now 28 pages. I do not think there was 28 pages last I played. So now there's a tank, which allows the, the, the item to store fluid. That's cool. Soulbound, Sweeping Edge, Smite Sharp, Sharp, Severing. I think I've already got Severing sort of built into my um, cleaver. Piercing, Reinforced, Overforced. Um, allowing more capacity for over slime. Padded. Um, stop your enemies from escaping, so it reduces the knockback of the tool. Nice. You can do netherite. Um, okay. Offhanded. Disables the tool's interaction abilities when the offhand is filled. Okay. Um, there's some cool things here. I think... Oh, wait. What's this? Um, tools mine... Wait. Tool mines while lit blocks faster. So if you have, you know, torches out, you'll mine faster. That's cool. Um, hydraulic, knockback... Haste. What I'm probably wanting to do, and I, I keep getting distracted, is put looting on this, um, if that's possible. Ignites targets, gain bonus XP, that's pretty cool. You can put a diamond, increase durability and stats. Ooh, so we do that. What, what will this do? Will this make it... We'll have to check to see if that actually makes it stronger. This one increases the durability. This one does the durability and stats, so we'll try and put a diamond on it, I guess. Um, maybe some netherite too, see what that does. Cooling? Bonus damage to fire things. Bane of... Spiders. <laughs> oh, spiders and creepers. Okay. So it's a little better than uh, Bane of Athropods. Writable. More words, more upgrade. It's only logical. Okay. So I think this adds a modifier to it. What's this? 
Anti-aquatic. Bonus damage to see. There's a lot of pages. I, I don't know if this is entertaining to look at, me just reading them, but hey, we're, we're, we're doing it. Too bad. Too bad, so sad. Anyone who's not having fun. <laughs> um, tool glows with an enchanted glint. That looks pretty cool. Um, world bound. A crude version of netherite, granting immunity to external damage like fire, but no additional strength. Okay. Um, recapacitated. Sets this tool ahead by one upgrade. Huh? Okay. Resurrected. Respawns one of the tool's upgrade slots. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So then there's Overslime. I read about this a little bit. Um, tool consumes Overslime instead of durability until it runs out. Not friendly towards tools lacking slime. Okay. So you make a tool using slime and then you put this on it. I guess to make it a bit stronger or something. Um, it, it can play sounds, I guess. Live in harmony with the rest. Okay. Like a Symphony of Modifiers. Allows an additional upgrade to live in harmony with the rest. I, I'm very confused. Like, does this add a modifier slot? A lot of these sound very interesting. Draconic? Um, a second ability slot. Yeah, a lot of these, I think, add more more spots to put things that are cool. <laughs> oh, this is how you um make it indestructible if you don't have any of these uh, eternal stellars. Did I just lose the page as well? Um, nope, here it is. Yeah, unbreakable. Um, second ability slot again. Extra reach. Silk touch. Okay. Luckiest? I think this is what we want. We want some of this looting. Oh, Gives you a... Gives you more nice things when mining or killing mobs. Diamond, name tag, rose gold, and a rabbit's foot. Okay. Oh, but it requires a different recipe for the first two levels. And then there's melting. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, okay. So they've, they've changed how this whole system works. Previously, what you used to do is just put uh, lapis on it. As much lapis as you could, and it would upgrade from luck to luck two to luck three. Now you can see... There's three different levels, right? So you put luck on it by putting corn flour, copper ingots, and lapis blocks, and that gives you luck level one, right? So, so I assume that's like fortune one. Uh, then for luckier two, or, or you know, luck two, luckier, you would do golden carrot, gold ingots, and ender pills. This one says a max of two. So I'm guessing you can put this perk on twice, which sounds interesting. And then luckiest, max three. Um, so we're most likely going to try and do that stuff. Um, gilded. Trades an ability slot for two upgrade slots. Wait, what? So there's ability slots and there's upgrade slots differently. Okay. Glowing. We're near the start again. Tool's area of effect is larger than before. Um, tool can create fire. That's cool. Um, tool can pick up liquid. Oh, okay. And place when crouching. And then dual wielding can attack from the offhand, provided the main hand can also dual wield. Ooh, but they have reduced stats. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if that would be worth doing. Let me know if that's worth doing. <laughs> what, what do we need? Manulin, Sky Slime, and Nautilus. Okay. Okay, okay. So we've looked at pretty much all of it. I'm going to try and make this luck stuff. So, first things first. Do we happen to have a cornflower? No. We need a cornflower. Um, can we make one? We can. Ooh. Okay, yeah. It, it's actually doable. An, oxy, an oxy daisy in a transmutate or an alchemy uh, catalyst. We can do that. Um, Oxy Daisy. I think we have one of those. No, we don't. Okay, how do we make one of these? A pink tulip. Okay, we're getting there. Do I have a pink tulip? No. Okay, <laughs> how do we get a pink tulip? We get that from a white tulip. Here we go. Do we have a white tulip? No. Okay, how do we get that? From an orange tulip. Do we have an orange tulip? No. Okay, how do we get this one? A red tulip. Oh, do we? No, we don't. <laughs> What's this? An azure? Surely. No. <laughs> okay. An allium. Do we have one of those? No. Okay. Um, blue orchid. Surely. Blue orchid. No. Really? Wow. Okay. Poppy. Surely we. Oh, I mean, we, we must have a poppy. No. We have a Californian poppy. Dandelion. No. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Why? How how far is this gonna go? How far is this rabbit hole? Rose. We're going to get there. We're going to figure out what exactly we need. A lilac? No, we don't have one. I mean, I probably could just look for these flowers, but I mean, we're so far invested in this that we can't, right? Okay, a lily? Nope. Um, and then we're back to the cornflower. Okay, well, that was a fail. Um, what's this? A cyan rose. Okay, we're... 
All right, we're, we're going flower shopping is essentially what that whole endeavor led to. Now, um, I could get lucky and find what I need in the overworld, or I might go into the mining dimension because usually there's some... Oh, dandelion. There we go. We have, we have what we came for. Time to go in the nether. And I'm going... You know what? You guys are going to watch this. I'm going to use my portal. Oh, <gasps> it worked first try. It actually worked first try. Oh, it's a, it's actually a Christmas miracle. Okay, okay. Um, where are we? This guy right here. We're gonna drop this in. We're gonna drop this in, and we're just gonna go until we get the um the corn flower. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> we're going through all the flowers. It's using a little bit of uh mana each time, but we're getting there. Oxy Daisy, corn flower. How sweet is that? Okay, let's head back through it, and it's gonna work. Oh, it actually did. What a Christmas miracle. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. So, what else do we need? I know we need uh, blocks of lapis. So, we'll just grab as much as we can. Um, I guess I'll grab normal lapis as well. Um, we have the cleaver here. Am I able to bookmark this thing? Oh, you can actually bookmark the upgrades. Thank you. Whoever added this feature, I am extremely grateful. Although, it seems like luck was the only one I could bookmark. Why can't I bookmark luckier? Or luckiest. Okay, so they're working on it. They're working on it. But that's nice. I, I do like that. Um, so we need copper, believe it or not. Copper ingots? Just two of them. That'll do. Um, then I believe we go to our tinker area. We find our tinker's anvil. We put in our cleaver. We put in our corn flower at the top. I, I don't think it has to be at the top, but we'll do it for the sake of looking good. Our copper. Two lapis blocks. And, ladies and gentlemen, we will have luck one. There we have it. Now, if we put this guy in, we should be able to see... Yeah, there's two upgrades available. Um, so we might have to increase the amount of upgrades we can have as we uh, progress. Oh, that is awesome. Does it show? Oh, it shows the blocks that you place as well. Oh, th this is a beautiful mod. Okay, so we now have luck. Now that we need luckier, but that doesn't show up. Okay, well, <sighs> they, they don't make out life that easy. Um, so, what's it going to need? We're going to need golden carrot, two gold ingots, two ender pearls. Ender pills, easy. Um, gold ingots should also be easy. And the gold carrots, we actually already have. So that makes our life really easy. We only need one, I think, as well. So one carrot, two gold ingots, two ender pills, the cleaver. Let's look at what it looks like. Nice. I like it. Um, and then we have luckier. So this is the luckier perk. Now, what I do want to try is I just want to see exactly how this works because... As you remember, it said max, and then it had like, um, it had a max one for the luck perk, and it had a max two for the luckier perk. I feel like, I feel like this episode and even my announcement video were very confusing, so I do apologize if you're very confused watching this. Does that, no. Luck level cannot be above two. Okay, that's good to know. So now what we're doing is we need to get the luckiest. This is going to cost a diamond, a name tag, Rose gold and rabbit's foot. So let's, let's see what we have so far. Um, put a bunch of this stuff away. So, um, do we have rose gold? No. We have diamonds. Yes. Do we have a name tag? Um, no. Can we craft one? Um, we're going to have to put a book and quill in a transmutation thing. But essentially, yeah. Essentially, we do. Um, the reason why I'm not too thrilled is because we don't have the other stuff. <laughs> I don't know what the other stuff is going to cost. So, Book and Quill, that will turn into a name tag. Um, Rabbit's Foot? No. Can we make one? If we find a rabbit, we can. Otherwise, ooh, otherwise it's going to be a bit tricky. <laughs> if we had rabbit seeds, we could, but we don't have soul jars of rabbits, so we don't really have that either. Um, okay. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, actually... Uh, uh, okay, okay. Um, so I'm pretty sure there's a there's a type of meat you can get, and I, I'm not sure if it's called Kobe meat, but clearly this is called Kobe beef honeycomb, right? And this makes rabbits, or at least raw rabbits. I don't know if that helps me yet, but that was a cool thing. So there's an actual bee that you can get. Do you breed it? No, you have to find it. <gasps> oh, okay. And it spawns in those biomes. Very interesting. Okay, okay. Um, we're in a bit of a pickle, though. Because a part of the problem with this server, for whatever reason, is um, natural mobs don't spawn, right? So if we go back to spawn real quick, um, I'll show you exactly what I mean. I don't have another head, do I? No, okay. Oh, 
this is not spawn. Oh, this is spawn. <laughs> okay. Oh, a little bit of lag. I apologize. Um, so in the spawn, what I've got set up because, um, oh, what is this? Crates of tomatoes. Um, I've got this area set up, right? Um, with a bunch of natural mobs. So as you need them, you can stand on it, grab your mob. Let's say, oh, yep, I need some, some animals, you know, and you can do that. Um, obviously that also means that in theory, rabbits aren't spawning too. Um, so do I set up a rabbit one? What I might do first is, if you remember, we went to the north of the map to find our bees. I might head up there again and see if natural mobs are spawning up there, maybe. But I'm going to be honest, I might just have to spawn in or, you know, set up a public spawner for rabbits. Um, I might have to do that. Oh, wow. I, I just... The wall of bands. Okay, well, try not to get your head up there. Um, what's this? Someone's... <laughs> what's this? Okay. Okay. Okay, as you can see by the map, it appears as though natural mobs are spawning out here. You can see there's some pigs, there's some sheep on the mini-map in the top right. Um, so, I'm now on the hunt. I'm looking for, not only am I looking for... Oh, what are you? Are you a lumber bee? Oh, you're a dirt bee. Um, I'm not only looking for the rabbit, but I'm also looking for a cobble bee, or a cobby. Because um, if you remember in a previous episode, we need one of those in order to eventually breed it up to um a... Whatchamacallit? A fluorite bee, which I which I would like. Lots of sheep. I'm currently I've set my compass to go to a desert because I believe. What are you? A <laughs> little a little dude. I don't know what he is. Um, I've set my compass to go to a desert because I think that's where they spawn. Oh, that's a lot of beepers. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a desert. I actually see something over here. What are you? Horses. A phenomenal amount of horses. Okay. Yep. They can stay there. Um, obviously, we're after rabbits. We're getting a bunch of bees. I was hoping to catch a rabbit spawning on camera. Ooh. A sandy bee. Look at you. I... You know what? I might capture you. What, what's a sand bee used for? Can you make a glass bee? Wait, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Um, sand bee. You can be bred. Oh, no. Only just into another sand bee. Okay. And the sand honeycombs, do you just make, well, sand? Yeah, okay. So is there a glass bee? Glass bee. No. Okay. Okay. I think it would look cool. Just saying, you know, just putting that out there. Um, okay, so we're in a desert. I'm going to run around, possibly even, like, wait here a bit and hopefully get a rabbit. Oh, I see one on the map. I see one on the map. Don't I? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. I'm not going to kill it yet. <laughs> Notice how I said yet. We might not even kill this one. This one might be the chosen one. Uh, once the server decides to, you know, stop having rabbits fly, um, I'm going to get a mob imprisonment tool, which we're probably going to have to make. I'm going to grab this guy, and we're going to clone him. So there we go. I have a rabbit. Oh, there's plenty of bees. Um, but yeah, if you need a specific mob, head to the, to like the outskirts of the map, apparently. Um, very nice. Act actual mobs for once. All right, I'm going to head back home. Alrighty, I'm back in this uh, dimension because this is where we were previously um, growing the or duping the dragons, which you can't even do anymore. So hunting dragons is going to be pretty rough. Um, but in theory, I can spawn rabbits, I think. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if this system works. I, what it might... Oh, I think it just died. I feel like it spawned and died. What I might do is I might just bring this with me. Um, this, this area sort of doesn't even really work anymore, I think, so... I'm just going to grab this stuff. Oh, actually, it's probably in here, isn't it? Mm, maybe. Um, yeah, and, and that's that's pretty much it. I'm just going to set this up in the overworld. I think we were getting essence from our... Um, our whatchamacallit? Our this guy. Um, and clearly, he's still broken. But it's not all over yet because look at this. We have this guy full of essence. Beautiful. All right, so all I'm going to do is just um, set it up like this, I guess. And that should work. That should spawn me some uh, some chickens. Or some rabbits, sorry. Oh, yep. Here they come. Um, you know what? Let's just turn this to be um, run with a redstone signal. Because as you can see, I'm, I'm already making a mess. Um, all right. Well, I probably don't want to show... Oh, are they baby rabbits? They better not be. Oh, no. It worked. It worked. I think we already got one. Lucky. Oh, we got a lucky rabbit's foot. Not even just any rabbit's foot. Um, I don't know if that's a thing. Sweet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 
you know, clean this up. I think we got what we want, though, but I've still got to clean up the rest of these rabbits that are escaping everywhere. Alrighty, so we actually got two lucky rabbits' feet. Um, now, let me just double-check real quick that we can use that. Um, because I feel like it was just a normal rabbit's foot. Yeah, just a normal Minecraft rabbit's foot. And we have a lucky rabbit's foot. Um, I don't particularly know if we can use it. I, I guess we can try, maybe. Um, alright, alright. First things first, Book and Quill needs to be a name tag. So there we go, we have a name tag now. Um, and what was the other thing we needed? Because <laughs> I've, I've already forgotten, uh, forgotten, as you can tell. Um, Rose Gold, okay. So how do we go ahead and make this stuff? An alloy kiln with some gold and some copper. Or can we possibly use an induction smelter? Copper and gold. That should be easy enough. You know, um, I really made it sound like I actually have an induction smelter. Um, but I can't seem to find one. If I do have it. Over here, what do we have? A pulverizer and a multi-servo press. Um, yeah. Clearly... Clearly didn't think this one through too much. Anyway, uh, I think we can set one up really quickly. Yeah, we have one. It's just not set up. And am I allowed to take it? No. Okay. Beautiful. Great. Wonderful. Okay. A head and a bucket of blood just uh, spawned in my inventory while I was apparently messing around. Did my... Okay. I think I'm being trolled a bit. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> what I want to do now is pick this stuff up and set it up with the entangled blocks. Um, because I want to place an induction smelter here, so... Um, you've seen it all before, but we'll do it again, because <laughs> why not? I think I only need one. We have our tool here. I'm going to pick this up, make sure my inventory sorted. Pick this up. Hopefully get all the stuff. Beautiful. Entangled block. We're going to go ahead and entangle this. We're going to fly all the way back over here. Um, we're going to get some cables, which I actually have in my hand. Not entirely sure how long they've been in my hand, but they're there now. Place an entangled block. Right click it, that should work. Um, place the crafter on top, like so. Use our morphing tool to switch it into a wrench from refined storage. Place it like that. Place another cable there. Place in all of these patterns, like so. And that should be fine. We might have to configure it over here, but we're not really even using the guy anymore um, yet. This uh, antimatter guy, we gotta set him up a little bit better. Um, so place this, make sure the sides are all clear. Okay, okay. Let's get some gold. Let's get some copper, I think it was. Not sure what the ratio was, but hey, we'll do that. And that should work. Okay, beautiful. It's making smoke. That's slightly less beautiful. Um, I'm going to get some speed upgrades for this guy, which we should have already. I think we get a resonant um, this guy. So craft one of those. And what else was it that we get? Um, I'm just going to have to look it up. It is this guy, the Flux Linkage Amplifier. So I've got those crafting. Apparently, they're going to take a while. In fact, the Rose Gold is probably going to be finished before these things are, but I, I guess that's fine. Ah, you know what happened? Um, these are both bound to the multi-servo presses. This guy is meant to be the pulverizer. So, there we go. <laughs> that should be fixed. Um, interesting. Yeah, that was, a, that was definitely a mistake. So let's grab those diamonds out and uh, put them in here. There we go. <laughs> that that should work a little bit better now. Alrighty, and just like that, all the stuff is finished. So we can chuck these upgrades in here, and they will make it go a lot faster, as you can see. Um, we can grab the rose gold out. That's obviously plenty already. And in theory, this it might not work. If it doesn't work, it's not the end of the world. Diamond, rose gold, lucky rabbit's foot name tag. Okay, it didn't work. So we need to have an actual rabbit's foot, I believe. Um, luckily, if you remember... We had a look at the recipe for the rabbit's foot, and... Oh, no, it used the essence. I thought it used the hide. Oh, my God. Okay. We should still be getting one from this. So, I think just I got to, um... We just got to keep killing him. Oh, okay. I got one instantly. Almost instantly. Uh, beautiful. Okay. Our job here is done. <laughs> Let's head right back over here to our cleaver. Place on our normal rabbit's foot. <gasps> and we have the luckiest upgrade on here. Does he have any more upgrade slots? He still does. He has two more slots. Okay. So this guy is, essentially has luck three in theory. Um, another thing I want to try though is grab a diamond. I also want to get netherite. And I want to see what it does to the um, to the stats. So let's just craft some netherite. 
That should be quick and easy. I crafted a stack, so I guess I won't have to in the future. Boom. Cleaver. So netherite. It requires either diamond or emerald to be applied. So if we put diamond on here, um, we can actually look at the stats go up as we place it on. So attack does go up by a unit of one. So it doesn't do much, but it does go up. It looks like um, the mining speed goes up as well, which is cool. And obviously we, I don't know, we get the diamond perk. Durability looked like it went up a little bit. Um, yeah, why not? It looks cool as well. And then we will place the netherite on. And let's see. <gasps> Look at the attack. From 400 to 450. Yeah. I, you know what? I think I will. I think I will. So this is now our cleaver. How sick is that? Okay. So what does this mean? Well, it means that in theory, we could do a lot of damage. Um, it's possible we could upgrade this guy further. Um, but I kind of want to take him for a spin. So... I'm still... I still don't have shaders on. So this will actually be good. If I get a Spectral Eye Amulet, which is made like so. Arcana Gold, Nether Star. The Arcana Gold you make with all these different bits. You, you, they're, they're makeable. It's just you have to follow the rabbit hole down and get all the stuff. And But eventually you can make it. And what it does is it allows you to see things through walls. So as you can see, I can see all of those mobs down there. Um, and that is incredibly helpful. Not in this dimension. In the other um, because we can find the dragons through the walls, in theory. So as you can see, it, uh, it works pretty well. We can see some things through the walls. It's looking pretty good. Um, now dragons in particular spawn in a specific biome, um, in this dimension. So what, well, what's this place? The other wastelands? No, I don't, I don't think it's here. Um, so we can search it up. Um, I wonder if I can search other. Yeah, okay. So we can see all the ones here. I believe basalt deltas they spawn in. Um, I think deserts, they spawn in as well. So, yeah, let's just go to a desert. That should be the safe one. So, my, um, compass is telling me to go this way. This compass, by the way, nature's compass. Um, logs and saplings and a compass. And it's extremely useful, as you can tell. Um, so, I'm going to travel in this direction. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, it says on the top left, the distance. Um, so, 600 meters, give or take. If I wanted to go faster, I would use my um, unobtainium jetpack, but it's not too far, so we should be fine. And basically, I believe we want to go under the ground and look for a dragon. And that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of what we're going to do to do that, I think the mecha tool is probably our best bet, because that mine's a bit faster than the current pickaxe I have. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically the whole plan. I'm going to go mining underneath the ground, because that's where the dragons spawn. And we're going to see if we can find a dragon. That's that's pretty much it. Um, so, yeah, I guess I guess this is it. I'll, I'll head under. I'll start mining to see if I can see one. And, yeah, I'll, I'll meet you guys back, hopefully, with a dragon. Oh, okay. Yep, you saw it. That is a dragon. Okay. Okay, fix up my headset. Okay. Okay. We have a cleaver. We have our normal sword. Um... I'm not sure if there's anything else we want to bring with. Um, well, actually, Charm. What do we have? Unobtainium Strength 2. We're going to bring that guy. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Apples. Can we make a really strong apple? Because um, I think you can make, like, unobtainium apples and stuff. And we probably want to do that. Assuming they work well. Um, oh, yeah. I, I just saw the all the modium apple. Okay. Does this guy get upgraded into the other one? No. Okay. Does the other one even exist? Let, let, here, give, give me a second. Unobtainium. Do we see an apple here? <laughs> I don't think we do. So we might just have to settle with an, all the modium apple. Okay. I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to hope that everything goes according to plan. Okay, we've eaten it. We have some pretty cool perks. Um, maybe I should get some more, just, just in case, you know, it doesn't go according to plan. I, I don't know how strong this dragon is going to be. In theory, I'm really strong. But I, I also, I don't know. I genuinely, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here. But here we go. Here is the dragon. Here is our cleaver. I'm not sure how much health he has. He has 8,000. And look at how much damage we are doing to him. And we can, in theory, spam click this. And at some point, he should die. He's at 1,200. He's dead. We're, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'd say we're pretty good. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So now to pick this stuff up, um, what I might want to do first is cover up this lava. 
just so that we don't lose anything potentially. Um, what's in here? A bunch of gold? That's pretty cool. Um, there's obviously a bunch of uh, loot chests or a bunch of chests in here. Oh, what's in here? Iron boots with soulbound magic protection. We might want those in chance. We can grab the manuscripts. There's some vibranium. That's nice. What's in here? A bunch of enchantments. Oh, some of these sound really cool as well. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take them, you know. We definitely won't. An all the modium helmet with soulbound projectile protection and insight. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. I'll, you know, I might not use it, but I, you know, I won't, I won't not take it. That, that would just be rude. Um, more vibranium, more manuscripts. Beautiful. Okay. There's probably some more hidden chests around here. Um, possibly some that I can see. Manuscripts. Yep. I'll take those. What's in here? More manuscripts. Be oh, we're, we're stacked on manuscripts. Um, some leggings. Once again, they look like they have some pretty cool uh, enchants, so we might take them off them in the future. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, how do we get the goodies from this guy? Um, first, we make room in our inventory. That's probably the first step, I would imagine. Um, boom, boom, boom. Oh, just put my stuff away on a while. And then we right-click it. And because we have magnet, it should, in theory, go pretty much into our backpack. Okay, there we go. We got dragon scales. We got a bronze dragon egg. So that's pretty cool. Fire dragon flesh. It was a stage four dragon that we just killed. And we got some dragon scales. Beautiful. Um, so this guy spawned in a deltas, as you can obviously tell. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm going to keep exploring. So all I was doing was just mining so that it would mine two blocks. Oh. Like this, and then just running. Until I saw it. What is down there? Looks like a, it looks like a chest, but I don't know why a chest would glow. Oh. It's gone. Oh no. You know what? I'm very curious, so I'm going to go and check it. Also, why level 23 seems like a good level? Based on the fact that we just found one at that level. Okay, um, the other uranium ore, by the way, gives you a lot. I just mined one vein and got over a stack, so potentially we might want to do that. Uh, we might want to mine in the other for some uh, uranium. Um, anyway, I'm pretty much at whatever these are. Are these magma blocks? Magma cubes or whatever they're called? Let's see. Yeah, they are. Oh my god! Oh, loot! <laughs> okay, we took a bunch of junk. Let's um stand here. What do we get? Um, Aldel Edelwood Bucket of Suspicious Dew. Okay, sure. Um, we got this guy. Bailey's Bovine Rocket. It's a projectile? Sure. That, that sounds pretty cool. Um, Enchanting Book Digging Claws. Increases the wearer's mining speed and base mining level. A Nuke Virus. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Not entirely sure what it does, but it definitely sounds cool. Um, this is a nice little, uh, sort of like an abandoned mineshaft, but for the other. Um, and as you can see, the loot, the Yednit, is definitely... What are you? A Basols. Okay. Uh, more loot here. Is there anything we actually want to take? Sea infusion? Sure. Um, rope? No. A nuke virus? We can leave that there. The manuscripts I'll take. Um, beetroot? Nah, we'll leave that stuff. All right, well, I'll go back on the hunt then, I guess, for these, uh, oh, for these dragons. Oh, my God. Okay, we're good. We're, yeah, we're, we're good again. Let's, um, here, let me sort my inventory a little bit better so that I don't have to mess around each time. Okay, um, that should be good. And then I'll just empty these slots and they can be my emptying slots. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's go fight ourselves a dragon. How does that sound? All right, so as you can see, he's asleep. Um, as you can also see, I'm kind of lagging around a bit because I think I'm mining too fast for the server to uh, keep up. But anyway, here we go. Is he alive? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get, he tried eating me. He, he definitely just tried eating me. I also didn't eat my apple. So can I quickly, do you reckon I can get away with that? Let's just quickly grab this. Quickly eat this. Yep. Because as you can see, my actual, <laughs> my, um... Charge is going down for my suit. And if that reaches zero, I essentially just die. So, if that... Oh. Okay. Um, What health was he at? Okay, no, no. We, we can kill him. He's at 7,000. Nope, nope, nope. Let me go. So, he does pick me up. That's a problem. Let's see. Come on. Come on. If we just kill him, everything's fine. If we just kill him, everything's fine. If we just kill him, everything's fine. This is a massive dragon, by the way. Okay. He's dead. He's dead. Deep breaths, everyone. Deep breaths. Let's um clear this stuff. That should be fine. Okay. 
Okay, everything's fine. I'm going to go ahead and try and get over here and see if I can now right-click this dragon and get all of his loot, which appears to have worked. Let's get all the bones. I don't think we need the bones, but we'll take them. Stage 5 dragon, that was. It does not appear to have given me an egg, which is unfortunate. Um, fire dragon, fire dragon heart. Sweet. Um, as you can see, there's also some loot down here. Um, is there anything cool in these chests? I guess just, just more of the same. Um, you've seen it once, you've seen it all, apparently. Curse of Vanishing? Yeah, I'll take it. Um, lo <laughs> lots of, um... Nuggets. Oh, yeah, we'll take the diamonds. We, I like how we're leaving all this other, other stuff, but we see diamonds and our instinct kicks in. Also, these are all the modium nugget piles and vibranium nuggets. Sweet. I like it. I'm on board. Um, okay. Um, I'm kind of a little bit worried about our health because that, that was pretty rough. That took us down quite a lot in terms of our energy charging. And is it even going back up? Let's see. Oh, what am I... Am I withering? How did this happen? Yeah, have a look at this. Our power isn't actually going back up. Um, which is... It's a problem. I think we can stay in here a bit longer. See if we can get some more dragons. I Apparently, we're after an ice dragon. Which, clearly, we haven't gotten yet. We've gotten, what, fire dragons and stuff. Let's check in here as well. For eggs. Um, bronze, copper. And we didn't even get a fire dragon egg. Um, so even if we find an ice dragon, we're not... We're not, like, confirmed to be able to get it. Um, alright, well. I will keep exploring, I guess. Oh, okay. We found another dragon. I made a pretty big mess traveling here. But luckily, um, I was voiding a lot of it in my dank, which, um, definitely helped. Okay. So, once again, we, we have meet, we have met our, um, our dragon. We'll have our Aldermodium Apple just to strengthen us up and stuff. I think it gives us some strength, maybe. Oh, I also put away my strength charm. Let's maybe bring that back. Um, okay. Let's go in here, and we gotta kill him quickly and swiftly because we don't have unlimited health anymore. And it is another fire dragon, which is unfortunate. It's also a massive, uh, fire dragon. So, let's see exactly how well this goes. There's also the chance he one-taps me. That's, that's always the chance. Um, so we will have to be a little bit careful, but... So far, so good. Let's just try and stay, like, um, behind him. Oh, I think he just turned around. Yep, okay. He's almost done. 3,000... 2,000. I'm looking at the health at the top. Um, 1,000. 460. He's dead. Okay. Yeah, that was that was easy. Um, he broke quite a few blocks. Yeah, not a lot. There we go. Put that stuff away. Alright, what have you got to give me? Give me your loot. Alrighty, that is the dragon looted. Um, once again, no egg, but we did get a bunch of scales. Some bronze scales, um, some more dragon hearts. Okay. I mean, it's going well. I I could keep grabbing this stuff, I guess. I, I don't know if it's worth grabbing these. I don't. I assume in the future, I'll be glad that I grabbed all these enchantment books uh, when we do go to use them. Um, but yeah, well, I guess we'll just have to see in the future. Oh, check out this thing. I don't know what it is, but let's be honest, it looks a little bit scary. Um, and I believe it's from here. And it might actually be a boss or something. Or, or it might lead to a boss, so... Why don't we go on and go ahead and have a look? I mean, we're doing a bunch of exploring. We might as well. So here they are. We're able to pretty much one-tap them. They do poison us, which is a little bit scary, but hey, we we should be good. We're getting what? Desert resin? Miramex stuff? Mir Miramex chitin? Okay. Let's um keep looking through. What type of loot are we looking at? Bones? Is that it? Um, okay. I imagine it goes deeper if we like keep looking through it. So... Um, with that being said, kind of looks like it's a dead end already. Yeah, okay, it's a bit of a dead end, but I guess maybe you can, like, farm these guys and get some cool loot from them. I don't really know, to be honest. Ooh! An other city! What? Did you guys know this was a thing? An other city? It's like a nether city, but... Well, it's like an end city, but with like a nether theme, but obviously it's in the other, so I guess it's an other theme. Um, okay. I, I don't see any, I don't know if this has been looted. I don't know if we'll, if there's even meant to be chests. Um, do we see any? Oh, I, I do see a chest in here. Let's head on in. Is there looting it? There is. Okay. So there's some nether, let's sort it. Here we go. What are we dealing with? 
some mana regen, some different perks. Let's, let's grab it so that we can take the enchantments off them. Sylph shards? Okay. Some fireworks stuff. Enchanted golden apples? Sure, why not? A cloud in a bottle? I'll take it. <laughs> Blaze gold? Sure. And an efficiency tome. Okay. Pretty cool. In this guy, we have a golden hook, apparently, which increases some experience dropped. There's some necklaces. Increases the length of invincibility after taking damage. <laughs> okay, yeah. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm also feeling like I can't talk anymore. Um, so this episode is probably going to have to wrap up soon. I'm running out of, uh, running out of steam. <laughs> uh, this is a good find, though. This is definitely... This is going in the video. <laughs> The more blaze gold. I think blaze gold's pretty easy to get, so I won't actually bother with that. Um, I'll finish exploring the village, though, because, as you can see, there's some bits that go up higher. I don't know if they drop more loot or something. Also, do in the end, there's, like, a ship, right? And you find the ship, and, and inside the ship, there's, like, some, uh, there's, like, an elytra and stuff. Some really cool drops. I wonder if this has the equivalent of that. I, I don't really know. A panic necklace. There's some pretty cool stuff here. Now, if I found this stuff and I wasn't already in the end game, um, this would be pretty cool. The problem is I've, like, I don't know. It doesn't really fancy. Like, like it's not too crazy for me, I guess. I don't know. What would be cool, honestly, is, like, a tech version of these. You know what I mean? Like, some sort of technological um, civilization where you go and you find, like, actual loot that, <laughs> that I would use. You know what I mean? Like, a, a machine or, like, parts for a machine. Like, imagine if I could go exploring yet the SPS stuff. Um, Enchanted Tablet of Cupidity. Hold right-click to teleport. Okay, bunch of more loot. Sure. Interesting. That that seems to be the coolest thing we've gotten so far. Um, I am I'm running out of buildings to uh, open up, though. I feel like we've sort of checked everything. This, this place. Nope, even that place we checked. Um, okay. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like we're done. I feel like maybe is there anything in here? Doesn't necessarily look like it. Anything down here? Nope. Anything down here? Nope. Nope. Okay, lots of ghosts trying to get me, but sweet. I mean, <laughs> nice. Didn't know they existed, but um, I'm glad I found them. Definitely glad I found them. What is this stuff? Is this gravel? Can I make this fall? Would that be cool? That was alright. <laughs> um, okay, okay. So, oh my god, what is, what is this place? This is a basalt delta. There might be a dragon under it, maybe. Alrighty, we have another one of these structures. I believe when I travelled in one of these before, they had like an enderman spawner. Um, so I don't know what to expect at this one, but oh, oh, did we open something? Yep, lots of things trying to kill me. That's fine. Break that. Open this. A source gem? Here, yeah, let's let's clean the inventory again. We got a bunch of loot. There's some necklaces I didn't even look at, to be honest. Source gem. Life leech. And a disruption. Bulwark? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, this thing's about to explode. Um, but there was some cool stuff in it, so I quickly grabbed that stuff out. Um, but yeah, this is like a... I don't know. A weird temple, but it's like got nether portals in it. So that's pretty cool. Yep, there we go. It exploded. Um, Alright. Well, oh, there's, there's more stuff. Is it? No, it's just, it's just the tree. False alarm, everyone. <laughs> it's just the tree. Oh, okay. We found a dead dragon above the ground. Um, I guess we'll leave that guy there. Um, another one of these guys. I, I saw one before. It didn't have anything cool in it. Like, as you can see, it's pretty basic stuff. Um, so, yeah, cut. a bit boring. Um... I want to find one more dragon before I wrap up the episode, but I don't really know where I'm going, if I'm all honest. Um, let's see. Can we find another desert, I wonder? A desert. It's tracking. Um, where is it? In that direction? I feel like we went there. Can we get another one? What if I search for another basalt delta? <laughs> Where's it going to say? Status not found. Oh, okay. So it doesn't even know. That's that's not good. <laughs> oh, you know what the problem was? I um I was searching for a normal desert as opposed to drum roll please. The other desert which should be just over this hill, believe it or not. Oh, warped forest. That's not a desert. But this is. Okay. Oh, 
And an above ground dragon. Oh, awesome. It's a lightning dragon. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that did a lot of damage. That's doing a lot of damage. Okay. He's at 3,000 health. We need to kill him before, before we get killed. Okay. So yeah, we need to work on our power. Actually, look. It is charging up again. But yeah, I need to work on that. Because um, that's definitely... That's going to be a problem in the future. Uh, but, nice. We got a dragon. <laughs> that, that's going to be our last dragon, honestly. Um, we can't... I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a break. <laughs> um, what I could do... Is I could trade... The dragon egg that I got, so the um whatever the bronze dragon egg, I could trade that for the ice dragon egg that we were given. Maybe that is less cheatsy than just taking it. Um, and then we can get started on uh all of that fun stuff because ideally I could just search off camera, right? Which is what you'd do if you were playing by yourself, like normally. Because obviously I'm gonna try and record specifically for an episode, so I can't. <laughs> but, but like I could play off camera, I could go and do that, but then it's like I might as well cheat it in at that point and i've been given one you know um so we might just trade it you guys let me know in the comments if you think that's all right if i trade the um dragon egg that i have for an ice egg um so i'll go back home so yeah, if we go over here um i was given an ice dragon egg in here um a sapphire dragon egg okay um so in theory i could you know trade the dragon egg i have for that um, let, let me know if you think that's uh, an okay thing for me to do in terms of for the series. Um, and I should probably actually thank the donors. I, I, I did that in the last episode, so or the in the announcement video that I recorded before this, so I sort of forgot. Uh, but welcome to the Tower of Donators. And thank you to the donators. Thank you, Skeletor Jacob, Oathus, and Derpy for donating over on the Discord. And thank you to Mugs, to Coolers, V Rifty, and also V Rifty for being a channel member, and V Rifty, who's also a donator. And what is that? Is that a shark? Oh, it's a dolphin. It's a false alarm. It's a dolphin. There's jellyfish, though, that I haven't seen before. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for donating. Thank you guys for supporting the uh, the channel and the servers. Um, and thank you, whoever happens to be watching this video, for watching the video. Um, so, yeah. Watch that announcement video that I made before um, to keep up to date with what's happening um, with the server. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And hopefully, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.